Deep-seated mistrust, health concerns, and political ideology. Three of the reasons experts say some people are refusing to get a COVID uh, vaccine. And now that anyone is eligible in Pennsylvania and can sign up for a dose, pharmacy owners are worried about vaccine hesitancy. Megan Schiller joins us live to explain why one doctor says we need to keep pushing. Megan. I checked in with UPMC's chief medical officer, Dr. Donald Yilly, today to ask him what is his ideal vaccination rate? And what are some of the hesitancies that he's hearing right now out there in the community? First, he told me that the number that experts were throwing around was in the 70s when it comes to the vaccination rate across the Commonwealth. We're not there just yet. I also asked him to break down some of those hesitancies that he says really haven't changed since the get out. He said doctors realize we're not going to get to 100 percent when it comes to vaccinations, but they want to get as close as possible. So they're working to break down some of this mistrust and also clear up some of the confusion. So he says the common, common hesitancies can be broken down to one, people that are fearful about how well the vaccines have been studied to people that are scared about possible side effects. And the third is people concerned because of health concerns like pregnancy. Uh, these vaccines have been exceptionally well studied. You may think of, well, we just had a pause. I would say the pause is exactly the reason that you should be comforted. In other words, uh, the federal government, the state, and even us as individual vaccinators are looking very carefully to make sure you're well protected and you're safe. These side effects are incredibly rare. It's not clear that they're even more than what we would expect in the background. And the effects from unprotected COVID-19 infection are far worse. There's no dispute. I would ask yourself, if you're pregnant, which is safer for you and your baby, getting the infection or getting the vaccine? And I can tell you as a physician, the vaccine is far more safe. And according to the latest Monmouth poll about the vaccine, about one in five American adults remain unwilling to get the vaccine. Currently, 21 percent of Americans have said that when they were surveyed, they said that they would not get the vaccine if it was offered to them, if they could avoid it. That number is down, though. We had 24 percent of Americans that said that they were unwilling back in February and March. Dr. Yealy says UPMC is going to continue to go to the clinics every week with their teams and go out into the communities. They say usually when people are hesitant, it's because they've received wrong information somewhere in their lives or on social media. Reporting tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.